Archicad has quite a few rendering styles that are available within the program. To access those, we have to get to the photo rendering settings. So if I right mouse click on the top toolbar, go to 3D visualization, then we get the shortcut palette popping up. This button here is the photo rendering settings. First of all, I might just go to the 3D window so we can see the building. It's just a simple two-story dwelling with a number of different materials on it. Then this button here is the 3D window settings, but we don't want that one. We want to go to the photo render settings. If I left mouse click on the photo rendering settings, this is where we access all the different rendering styles. The Lightworks rendering engine I cover in another movie. So if I just push OK for that and push the camera, we'll render that. As we can see, we can create a very nice looking rendering very easily. Now for the other styles, if I left mouse click on the photo rendering settings again and if I move up to say the internal rendering engine if I left mouse click on that we can also if I push OK I'm now going to render that. This is the internal rendering engine and it's quite a bit quicker. If I left mouse click on the photo rendering settings again we can go to the Z buffer rendering engine and if I push OK and push the camera. So that's the Z buffer engine. As we can see there's not a lot of difference between that and the internal rendering engine but I've left the best to last. The sketch rendering engine has got quite a lot of options and I tend to like this style and as you can see you can change the anti-aliasing, the paper roughness, perspective, change the thickness of the lines, overstretch it. I'm sure architects will like or can generate a pleasing image using this engine and if I push OK and push the photo render button we can create a sketch render. Here's my pencil sketched render. This is a great way to present to clients without giving such a hard edged finish. There are quite a lot of options in this rendering tool and they're worth experimenting with.